Hola, buenos días. Soy Nico. until he finished coming in my ass for the fourth time. He collapsed down on top of me. I was at least happy that he was happy and satisfied. Unicorn is the uniform you put on. Eyes on you when you perform. Eyes on eye when I put on. Mastermind that hook couture. Label horse can't clock him. So obscure, unique. Okay, scene. <laughs> scene. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that song has been on my mind for like ages and that lady's album is fresh in my head. I also have pre-workout because I just got done doing a video that was a lot more serious and depressing. And I'm like, girl, let's have some fun. Let's be, let's be upbeat. So I'm here to talk about this Grandy Glaze collab. Nico, I'm going to insert this video and then I'm going to address the things that he said in the video. And honestly, like I've always said, I do not have anything against him personally. When that whole thing with Elijah Wilde and Malik Joseph trying to shoot him happened, I actually told him, you are better than this. <laughs> like you should not, your name should not even be tied into these situations. And I've also made multiple videos where I've addressed how I actually support him getting out of OnlyFans like he said he was going to do because what he wanted in life was to be an inspiration to children. And because of OnlyFans, it's limited his social career options such as basketball brand endorsements etc and i actually i applauded him and i said i support you so y'all know i have nothing against this man and i'm going to insert the video now a verbal sorry from him because i did watch one of his videos recently about the double standard and he seems pretty upset that some of the fans are telling him to do things that he's not comfortable with. So now you know. Now you know all them videos that you made about us saying, oh, you know, you won't do this and you won't do that. So y'all should not fuck with him. He's stealing your money and blah, blah, blah. Now now you're starting to see it because you're on, you're on the platform now. And, and now he sees there's a small percentage of people, small percentage, it's not everybody. There's a small percentage of people trying to pressure you into doing things that you don't want to do. But I ain't got no animosity against some shit. If he wants to collab, we can collab for sure. Yeah, just like that. I think he's a, I think he's a cool dude. I think he's smart. You know what I mean? In his own right, he's doing his thing on YouTube. But like, you know, I gotta hear a verbal apology. So as you saw in that video, he was having a casual conversation on Instagram Live, and somebody asked him about a collab with me because I have an OnlyFans now. And that's the thing, he said he watched one of my videos where I was talking about the heterosexual man that y'all gave $8,000 to, to not show peen on a clothed massage table. And he was blatantly homophobic and a Trump supporter, which this, we already knew that. So y'all gave him $8,000 to get a normal massage from another gay baiter and he didn't show anything. But I was giving y'all actual content. Y'all was at, coming at my head sideways. A few of y'all, like he even specified in the video. It's just, it's just a few loud voices. But for him in particular, the loud voices were a larger mass. And because he basically said, people are going to pressure you into doing things you said you don't want to do. Like I originally said, I'm not showing my dick. And eventually I was just like, girl, I don't care. <laughs> Like, I don't care, you know, I, I send nudes for free. I might as well get paid for it. That was my mindset. But for him, it was because people wanted him to do gay things. And he said, after gay baiting for ages, I'm straight. And he would usually make another comment that would be like, oh, I'm never sleeping with a gay man. I'm never doing that. I'm never doing that. But his newer content, to my knowledge, he made out with that one Latino singer who actually does OnlyFans. He made out with him and pretended to be his boyfriend for a bit in social op pics. And then he was in Bobby Light, I Love You, Purr, which I still have not addressed. <laughs> I talked about Bad Boys LA. Bobby Light, I Love You, Purr is just fictional. It's it's not it's not a real show. Like even Grandy Glaze, he says he has a girlfriend right now. So he was on this show for the love of Bobby Light, even though he is straight. So. You know, like they, when they showed the lineup, it was a bunch of well-known gay baiters or gay for pay men fine for Bobby Light's love. I already knew it was fictitious just because that's not happening. <laughs> that's not, that's not realistic. 
But I, I just, I knew it because, you know, I stay in tune with everybody's tea, unfortunately, because that's my job. But as for him, people were asking you to do gay things because you consistently came online and said you were going to do those gay things. Um, when it, so that's where our situations differ. Like on your previous Twitter, I know you delete and like make new accounts. No, like I'm not throwing shots. I'm just having a blatant conversation because I'm assuming you're watching this video. Um, but you would go on there saying, whose dick should I suck? Oh, I'm going to use this toy. I'm going to, you know, do all these things. And you would promise gay sex and gay actions. And you would talk gay on Twitter to get attention and for marketing. But then you would not do it. And you would double down that you're never doing it. And that's where we have a disconnect because I purposely told people up front, I'm not doing this. And eventually I just got so many bitches and moanings that I just said, I don't care anymore. <laughs> like I'll, I'll post it, I don't care. But with you, you blatantly said you would do these things and then you refused to do them after you got the money. Honestly, as you probably saw, I didn't have screenshots of the things I was saying because it's all in my previous videos surrounding him. If anything, just type in Nika's Aesthetics and Grandy Glaze into the search bar and you can find those old ass videos. I'm not giving this enough attention to go back and hunt for those screenshots. I'm, I'm not doing that. That's where we differ and that's not a shot at you. That's just history. That's what's documented, you know? So <laughs> I, I can't give you an apology for discussing what you did publicly. Like like I said in the previous video where after you called me a broke bitch and I had to come at you sideways because you called me a broke bitch, which I do apologize for. I apologize for that one because normally I keep my composure. I don't let most people come at me, but it's because when I was talking to you in particular about your situation, I was talking about the systems at play and how as a heterosexual man, you can enter gay spaces and have a leg up for the sole purpose that you are light skinned buff. And also there is a fetish for straight men. So you coming at me left ways, calling me a broke bitch. I had to let you know about yourself. That's just me, you know, <laughs> you know, that's the, that's the, 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 the queer part of me. I can read, but I publicly do not come on here and just spread negativity because that's not in my nature. It, it doesn't really fuel anything, but that's why I'm not giving you a broad apology. I'll apologize for basically saying your asshole is shitty, which it was, like, I know that's what I said in the video. It was, because you were doing scat play. But other than that, I cannot give you an apology. Second, you are a beautiful man. We both said in our videos, we're both attractive. But the thing is, that would ruin my brand. <laughs> Nico, this YouTube, OnlyFans, Twitter, Instagram model, that is a brand. If I am vehemently against gay for pay performers, and I do not agree with the light you get on social pedestals for the sole purpose of you being a heterosexual kink, me doing a collab with you that would most likely be gay baiting because you don't do actual gay content would be a horrible look for me. And it would go against my morals because I would be supporting something I'm actively trying to dismantle. But that's the thing. People have asked me about like a collab with you as well and you're an attractive man. But like I said, it goes against my morals to support something that I'm actively trying to dismantle, but also it would ruin me. I would get no gain out of that, especially because my content, when I actually do collabs, I'm hunching. Nico, I'm busting bottoms down. <laughs> like there would be nothing that we could possibly do as a collab that would be a financial gain to me. If anything, a YouTube discussion, but even then, when we when you offered a YouTube collab, I've already said all I needed to say on gay for pay performers. If anything, I would be able to get your insight on it, but we've already had responding videos to each other, so I know your insight. So that's why I'm like, it would be no gain to me to associate my brand with your brand, especially when you associate with bitches like Malik Joseph. Like that's, uh, if anything, my mind would be like, this is a setup. I would not, <laughs> I would not be able to meet with anybody that's cool with him for the sole purpose of, I don't, I don't let bitches catch me slipping. I've, t you know, I don't leave my house. I keep to myself. I keep with people that do not keep mess around them. If you hang out with people that keep mess around them, I cannot associate with you especially on a business standpoint. But once again, I have no animosity towards you. This is more of a, the collab would not happen for the sole purpose of it goes against my morals. 
along with the content that will come out would be a sham. Because I saw the video that you did with that actual gay Latino singer who actually did another video following suit getting railed. And your video, you pinned him against the wall, you kissed him, and that was it. Like, you, 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 your, your, your promotion for the video was y'all, oh, we're getting it in, I'm roughing him up, I'm... You know, you made it seem like there was going to be some actual man-on-man -man action, but the most we got were kisses and photo ops. Which is fine. I expect that from most gay pay performers. You know, gay for pay performers, I do not expect actual content come out, to come out. But that showed me that if we did any form of collaboration, be it OnlyFans or YouTube, it would be a sham and it would also affect my brand. And that's just, I've worked too long. <laughs> Nico, I've worked three jobs for too long to have it all washed down the drain for a gimmick. And it's, it's just, it, it, it wouldn't sit right with me as a businessman. But that's just me to you. There's no animosity. Once again, I'm sorry for having to clear you about the dirty booty shit, but you tried me by calling me a broke bitch for talking about the unfair advantage that you have as a straight man in the gay industry. But yes, that's it. There's probably not gonna be a collab. Most likely there's never gonna be a collab. Still a beautiful man. Still a very attractive man, no collab, but yeah. <laughs> That's the video. Boop. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I will see you guys there.